This video will show you how to fix the problem that may occur when you create a formula in Traxtor 3. For example, here we are in Traxtor 3, and if we go to Reports, New, and we click the New Formula button, and we add a parameter to this selected I.O. list here by just simply double-clicking, as an example, double-click the bleed underscore 2, and we have this uh, exception error that is thrown. And uh, the main part of the exception error is conversion from type db null to type integer is not valid. And it gives you these options, either quit or continue. Well, this is not good, because there's no way at this point we re where we can continue to uh, create the formula that we need to do. Notice that no matter what I click, the same error occurs, even if I click continue. So this is a problem. And what's causing the problem is if we go over to the, uh, the Traxtor Explorer, we will see a controller that's underneath the Traxtor Components menu. And more specifically, it is not inside of a site or a system. Um, as opposed to this uh, system here that's called samples, if we open it up, you notice there's two controllers inside of it. So that's fine. This is good and normal. This cooling tower controller, it does not have a parent system or a parent site. This is the root of the problem. Um, and so to fix this problem, what we can do is, it's the, I'm sorry, it's the root of the problem to that uh, formula creation error. Um, to, f to get rid of that error when we create the formula, we can go to the Traxtor Components, click the Traxtor Components menu item, then click the new Add a System button, and we can um, just type in a new system. I'll just name this uh, Test System, and I click Apply. So notice how we now have two systems, one that's called Test System and one that's called Samples, the original. And this controller here uh, is still outside of all of the systems. So I'm going to click this uh, cooling tower controller and hold down the mouse button and just drag it over to this new test system. You'll notice that the Traxtor Explorer adds the cooling tower controller to the test system. And so now if we go over to the reports but, uh, main menu and click new, in the report setup window, we will see that we now have two systems, a sample system and a test system, the one that we just created. And inside of the test system, we have the cooling tower. Okay, so that's a good sign that everything worked so far. Let's click the new formula button now. And we have that test system and the cooling tower underneath it. So now, if we open up the cooling tower and double-click the bleed uh, relay, you notice I do not get that error. And so we can now continue on with um, creating our formula. And I'm just going to do an example here. I'll uh, have a formula that does the makeup minus the bleed meters. Verify that. And sure enough, 